open top bus approached Sandown, Sailor Ted's mobile phone rang. It's the Air Sea Rescue helicopter pilot here, Ted. I just located Disaster Dave, who's flying just above the Isle of Wight Zoo. Oh dear. Bad news, Ted. It looks like he's heading straight for the tiger's enclosure. Oh. Crumbs, said Sailor Ted. We're on our way and we'll be there shortly. Quick, said Ted to the bus driver. We must get to the Isle of Wight Zoo. There's not a second to lose. Disaster Dave is in great danger. As the bus screeched to a halt outside the zoo, Sailor Ted could see Disaster Dave hovering just above the tiger enclosure. Ted leapt from the bus, closely followed by his shipmates, and they rushed through the entrance of the zoo. Hey, come back here, shouted the zoo attendant as he chased after them. You haven't paid. But this is an emergency, said Ted. We haven't just come to look at the tigers. We're here to stop Disaster Day from being eaten by the tigers. And we have to be very quick. Yeah. Diamond the tiger was lying in the undergrowth when he heard lots of noise outside his enclosure. Mm. I wonder what all the fuss is about thought Diamond. I was having a nice afternoon snooze and now I've been woken up by all this noise. Oh dear. He could see lots of people excitedly pointing up to the sky at what looked like a very large bird. The large bird was in fact Disaster Dave and he was flying straight into the tiger's enclosure. Oh no. Diamond licked his lips at the thought of Dave providing him with a rather tasty snack. Uh -oh. Sailor Ted and his shipmates couldn't believe their eyes as Disaster Dave, in his paraglider, started drifting lower and lower into the tiger enclosure. Diamond the tiger was now watching most carefully as Dave came closer and closer to him. Dave was now hovering just above the tiger and was very scared indeed. Diamond got into a crouching position ready to pounce. And then, with a very loud roar, he leapt through the air to grab Dave. <gasps> no! Was this the end for Disaster Dave? <laughs> Disaster Dave looked over his shoulder in horror as Diamond the Tiger hurtled towards him. Then there was a loud ripping sound as Diamond sunk his claws into Dave's bottom. <laughs> Help, he's gonna eat me, screamed Dave as Diamond opened his mouth to reveal some very scary teeth indeed. Sailor Ted couldn't bear to watch and put his hands over his eyes. That's what I'll do if I saw something like that. I bet. Then, to Sailor Ted and his shipmate's amazement, a sudden gust of wind lifted Disaster Dave's paraglider up in the air to safety. Phew! That was almost the end for Disaster Dave, said old Tom to Ted as he wiped his forehead. Diamond the Tiger wasn't happy at all. He'd been looking forward to a tasty snack, okay. and now all he had left was a piece of Disaster Dave's trousers hanging from his mouth. <laughs> he felt very cheated. <laughs> Come on, shipmates, shouted Ted. Let's get back on the bus so that we can follow Disaster Dave. Hi, Sailor Ted. Hello, Sailor Ted. We're enjoying your story.